Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch. Today we're going to be looking at the future of the Godot game engine. So jump in your TARDIS, dial it up to 88 miles an hour, mix up your metaphors, and let us jump in. And what you see in front of you, this is Godot 4. Specifically, this is Godot 4 Beta 6. This was released earlier on, about a week ago. Uh, I will show you where you can go ahead and grab that later on in the video. Uh, this is the Sponza demo, a very famous graphics example. Uh, has been updated to work with Godot 3.x and Godot 4, so I'll show you where you can grab Sponza as well later on. But one thing this illustrates is the brand new Vulkan based renderer in Godot 4. There's all kinds of lovely new features in Godot 4. I've covered them in the past on this channel. Uh, and uh, we're going to instead jump in and take a look at this new blog post that was kind of giving a roadmap of what is coming in Godot 4. So without further ado, let's jump in and take a look. So this is what's next for Godot 4. Uh, they start off with a TLDR. Uh, they've been in feature freeze since mid August, which is definitely nice. They're working on bugs. By the way, uh, uh, I do find that the Godot 4 Beta 6 is a hell of a lot better than Godot 4 Beta 1 was. Uh, so they're getting closer and closer to production ready. Now, production ready is going to be a very key word while we go through this. So uh, we hope to shed some light on our expectations for version 4, the future of 4.x. To get a better perspective, let's explain a few things about Godot 3 and the release of its first iteration. And kind of to sum this one up, Godot 3 launched. It wasn't flawless. Basically, Godot 3 was being worked on while 2.x was in the background. Uh, one than yet the lead our um lead developer of the Godot project was working on a new renderer alone that was kind of the core of the new Godot 3 release that was going to release with um, so we jumped up to OpenGL 3.3 but when Godot 3 shipped uh, there were a lot of things missing first off GLES was dropped and then we found out later on okay on a lot of devices um, it, GLES 3 just was not working that great so they backported that in uh, there was no support for exporting games that were created using C Sharp uh, C Sharp does have a tendency to, to lag behind in the world of Godot, unfortunately. There were countless bugs, poor performance, so uh, Godot 3 wasn't uh, representative of what they were spying for with Godot 3, but after each new release, it got better and better and better. Um, Godot 3 is in a pretty good place, which by the way, there is a blog post about kind of the state of where Godot 3.5 is. Uh, that was from back in August, so that's, that's a little bit in our past. Um, but that was definitely uh, the way that Godot 3 developed. It shipped, didn't have all the features we needed, the performance wasn't amazing, and so on. So now we're getting on to Godot 4. Uh, it was longer than the path to Godot 3 uh, because the engine had grown in size, bigger team working on it, overhauled many of the core components this time around, uh, have big aspirations for Godot 4, only expect that uh, version 4 will follow a similar path to Godot 3. So that means you're going to expect Godot 4 to be flawed uh, and then improved over time with relatively rapid iterations and improvements, which also means that hopefully we will also see Godot 4 pretty soon. Uh, we expect users will encounter workflow breaking bugs. Uh, many workflows will feel unpolished and performance won't quite reach the goals we have set. Rest assured, we have plans to publish bug fix releases quickly and regularly. Uh, uh, so you can expect version 0 0.1, 0 0.2, etc. to come shortly after the nominal 4.0 stable release. And then talking about the 4.x relief cycle, um, to uh, relieve pressure on contributors and avoid delays, starting with 4.1, aim to make quicker release cycles for feature updates. So we're going to see faster point. 1.2.3.4, etc. Uh, releases. Plan is to start with a fixed period of merging new features, then transition to a short period where we only merge bug fixes, then release and return to merging new features again. Uh, some features may miss the window for merging and be postponed until the next version, but due to quicker iteration times, uh, this wait should be much shorter for users and for contributors. Their work won't go stale. Uh, I believe it will help us maintain momentum and ensure that the engine stabilizes. Uh, a special thank you to Miguel de Casa uh, for your insight and encouragement that led us to this decision. And by the way, if you do not know who that is, he is one of the developers that founded uh, Xamarin and a company before that, I forget the name of, always monkey-based, by the way. Uh, but basically, he is the creator of Mono, among other open-source Linux projects. Uh, at this point, we are unsure exactly how long the release cycle will be. You can uh, expect we will experiment a bit to see what works for the best for the contributors. 4.1 is going to focus on stability, performance improvements, and usability. So they're going to get four out the door and then work on the bugs, basically, for 4.1. Uh, as of where we are at on the 4.0, so we're kind of back in reality now. Um, we're uh, at the beta phase still. Development is more focused on stabilizing 4.0 for release. Uh, now going to be releasing weekly betas. So there should be uh, beta 7 pretty much any 
like minute now type thing. Uh, at the time of the four put O release, version 3.5 will remain much more stable and battle tested option. Advise users to do, who desire a stable, bug free experience to continue using 3.5 until Godot 4 has been more widely tested, which probably means if you're caring about stability and, and you know, not being on the bleeding edge, you're probably going to want to wait for that 4.1 release before you really start jumping into Godot 4. Um, they will, in terms of, okay, so when are we going to get Godot 4? Uh, will they release it when we believe it is ready to be used in production, not when it is perfect? It will not be perfect, and it does not have to be, but it will lay down the foundation for all our future work, and with your help, it might get a little closer to what we envisioned as the Godot 4. So unfortunately, we're going to conclude this with, we don't know. Uh, I'd heard by the end of the year, but I don't think that's going to happen now. Uh, we are in beta. Feature freeze are there. And more or less what they're saying here is that they're going to ship Godot 4 when they consider it uh, production capable, but not, you know, bug free or, you know, flawless, perfect performance and all that stuff. So uh, if you're waiting on Godot and you are going to be using it for an immediate project, you're probably going to want to wait for Godot 4.1. Uh, but when are we going to get Godot 4? <laughs> well, I can't help you there, unfortunately. By the way, if you're interested in grabbing that Sponza uh, demo, uh, it is available on GitHub. Uh, this is from Hugo, uh, one of the... Q core, uh, I believe he's on the Godot team anyways, but definitely a Godot contributor uh, quite often. Uh, so if you want, the projects are available over here. Uh, what you think you'll notice here is the uh, demo is for Godot 3.x in the master branch and 4.0 in the dev branch. So if you want to go ahead and check it out, uh, this is actually the 3.5 version because I didn't really pay any attention to that. Uh, but I, I tweaked a couple things to make it work and show uh, SDFGI, which is the voxel-based, sign distance field-based global illumination system that is built into Godot 4, which makes having to set up a lot of the lighting uh, a lot simpler uh, overall, but this still has Godot 3.x style lighting because I cloned the wrong repository. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen, a quick look at the uh, near-term future of the Godot engine. Again, if you want to grab Godot 4 right now, uh, there was a beta 6 release on November the 23rd. They did say they were going to do weekly releases, so literally today or tomorrow, we should see a beta 7 release. Uh, you can head on in here and download them there. Just scroll on down. You'll find out what they actually fixed in these releases. None of these beta releases should have any new features or functionality. They should be all about bug fixes uh, and you know showstopper stuff at this point in time as we're working towards a more stable release. Uh, downloads are available here for both the standard build or the .NET 6 build. Um, just basically pick the platform for which you are interested. And again, hopefully we will see a beta 7 anytime soon. Let's see if we do have no, no folder for it as of yet. But as you see, we've been doing alpha and beta releases for quite a while. Um, so beta 5 was November the 16th. Here we're seeing the 23rd. So I would expect, again, maybe the 30th, um, which is today, or possibly uh, December December the 1st for that uh, beta 7 release. So expect that at uh, any time now. Uh, but yeah, that is a look at uh, the release schedule for Godot 4 and how they're going to do releases after that. The, kind of the TLDR version, as far as I read it is, they're pushing to get 4 out soon. It's going to be shipped when it is considered production ready, not when it is considered perfect. They are willing to accept flaws and performance issues and bugs, etc. in the 4.0 release. And they're going to heavily focus in the 4.1 release on getting things up fast, stable, and improved and so on and then do quicker faster point 1.2.3.4.5 etc releases throughout the life cycle of the project um, and I, I think this is a good approach I wish I could tell you exactly when Godot 4 was going to ship but sadly we do not know yet but we do know uh, any minute now you should be able to get beta 7 of Godot 4 and I gotta tell you uh, again using it I, I do find that it is a ton less buggy and a ton more stable uh, than it was in the past so it's gonna be closer and closer to production ready any day now uh, I wouldn't expect beta. Maybe we'll get to beta 7, 8, or 9. I don't think we'll see too, too much more. So hopefully uh, in the next month or two, we will see something. But that's just coming from my perspective of it and has nothing to do with reality. So hopefully Godot 4 is here soon. But that is a look at what they plan to do in the future. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. And goodbye.